When you get a call saying that Paul Schrader wants you in a movie, uh, you you like, oh, really? Okay. Action! Five on the set. My whole life has been involved in somehow in the church, uh, a product of Christian school education. And then I got involved in the secular world of movies. I never really thought I would make a spiritual film. But then it came a couple of years ago, a point in my life where I realized it was time. Like most people who've kind of done things many times in their career said, I'm not gonna do another preacher. But this was different. This was one that kind of, the idea of the mega preacher and our look into uh, this person that has 30,000 parishioners, you know, that was what I found interesting about this role off the top and why, you know, it was attractive to me. And of course, to play opposite of Ethan Hawke, which is going to be, you know, you just want to have certain certain actors and, you know, people on your resume go, yeah, yeah, I did that. Um, I play an environmental radicalist that was just released from uh, prison. And I'm married to Amanda Seyfried, and, and, and uh, I, she's pregnant, and I want to abort our child. It's all relatable. Like, I think the movie is so important because it just asks those questions that I think that we, we should all ask. It was a challenge. And then, you, you, you know, and again, you're in a direct scene with Ethan Hawke, so you got to stay, you got to stay in it. You got to be listening because he may just try something, you know, like, you know, like dope actors do. They just... He'll just go on a thing where, you know, for he just gets so emotional in this scene, he might just yell and you'll be like, what the fuck that come from, you know? But you gotta be prepared to, you know, to react. And that was the challenge. The, the, the one crazy scene I have with Ethan, we shot that uh, day one. That was like a big meaningful day for me, just as like a person. That night afterwards, I was kinda, I, I stood outside of the house with Ethan. We just talked for like an hour afterwards, I think just to like come down. It's not full of loosey-goosey conversations and, and fancy camera work. It's a serious film. These are serious times. I think it's good to make a serious film in serious times, and I think there's uh, a serious audience that will be thankful for it. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, but that's the world. Mm -hmm.